It is 640 and tomorrow local scouts are collecting non-perishable food items like cereal and oatmeal. Brooks Lyre is live in Marion this morning with more on this. Brooke. Good morning, Dave. Well, you just mentioned oatmeal. Let me tell you, some hot oatmeal sounds so good right now. So maybe maple and brown sugar. But anyway, those there's three locations in Marion that will be collecting non-perishable food items like that oatmeal and cereal that you just mentioned. There's the Aldersgate and Zion Church in Marion, as well as the Ministerial Alliance here behind me. And those food drives are drive through and they'll be taking place from 8 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. And joining me again this morning is Brianna. So thank you again for braving the cold this morning. And I'm just curious as to, you know, why you guys wanted to hold this food drive. So I feel like so many really do take place during the holidays. And this one is well after that. So we wanted to continue and have this food drive in February because we're still facing unprecedented times with the pandemic. And uh, the scout slogan is do your good turn daily. So this is just one way that the scouts can um, contribute to the community and help people in need. And obviously you guys are going to be relying on the community to come out. So we hope that not only do they all come out, but they uh, bring bags filled with non-perishable food items. So how is this all going to um, happen as far as once they get to the location that uh, is collecting the goods? Sure. So as you said earlier, this is going to be a drive through food drive. So it'll be really easy for everyone that wants to contribute. All you have to do is drive through, whether it's at Aldersgate Church or Zion Church. Um, just pop your trunk and the scouts will help you out. There'll be masks so that way um, we can still be safe and they'll collect all your food items. Hopefully it's a lot. And then um, from there, it will all come here to the Marion Ministerial Alliance where, where it will be sorted and then uh, distributed throughout the community. And you said there's another way that people can also donate as well besides, you know, just handing you guys the non-perishable food items. Sure. So you could also make a monetary donation to the Marion Ministerial Alliance directly. And then they're also always in need of volunteers to help um, serve hot meals to the community as well as man the food pantry. And, you know, obviously all the scouts are going to be at these different locations. I mean, they're ready to put in hard work. We were talking to the scouts earlier. What does it mean to see the younger generation, you know, want to step up and help out? I mean, it's just so selfless. Yeah, so what we're trying to do in Scouts is really prepare them to be good citizens in their community and in the country. So it's really awesome to get to help them kind of learn throughout this process and also demonstrate to them um, how important it is to contribute to the community, especially in really tough times. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning, and I hope you guys have a great turnout tomorrow. And I will have all that information on our website, WSILTV.com, under news for this morning, a little later on after the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you because I'm ready to get into the warm car. <laughs> yeah, do so. Hurry up, Brooke. Get in there. It is flat out cold this morning. Your record.